I need to figure out like my back is not my back is not catching up to my front so, so that's why you see it up and also too like when I'm struggling in the morning with my child it requires hair up dragon fruit mango for the win I am just really excited to have this day off from work because work has been working it is a lot of change going on in a very very short time so i'm taking this day in taking it all in also i have some candles bath and body candles that i ordered for the sale and i'm trying to track them down because i put my old <laughs> my old address where i used to live so they actually got delivered so i'm trying to call a rental office so i can get my candles because they returned they returned my money so there are free candles out here in this world that i need and i want to treat myself to a korean dog not the hot cheeto one i will never eat i will never 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 indulge in that i don't i don't like it it's not it's definitely not for me the hot fritos not the hot fritos the hot uh what do you say the onion i don't know just whatever with that red i'm not doing it not 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 not, not. i will not i'm very excited because i have on a dress pre dylan and it fits amazing very very happy about that because when you have a child and that body changes to something that you've never seen before and you don't know it's a little heart-wrenching so when you have something that you had before the baby and it's decent you're like okay god i see you thank you let me not put that ice cream in my mouth at 12 a.m I love, love, love Jersey City. Look what I got. You can only get that in Jersey City. The spicy on the top. Because you have to, you gotta have a snack when you get in your ear. You gotta have one. And I don't know what I was thinking about not bringing a snack. So she, little lady, to my side. She saved my life. It looks much clearer. Minus the smog, but I'm still rolling with my windows up. And I forgot my mask. I don't know what I did with my mask. Like, I'm tripping. So, yes, this was $5. I hope they're sweet, though. I, I asked her if they were sweet. If not, I'll just put them in my refrigerator and let them marinate. All right. So, I hope that there is parking jersey city and it's on like the business on john f kennedy boulevard like the mecca <laughs> of jersey city like so probably not i'm probably gonna be struggling but it's 11 48 so you know and 
I put a demi and I forgot to say that. So last night I did like a quick demi on my hair because I just wanted to do it myself. Yes, because I feel like also too dark. I just love dark curls, you know? So I did my demi. I did okay. It took me like an hour. I washed it, conditioned it, put a little bit of cream in it, and it dried for the most part, and then I fell asleep. And then this morning, Dylan kept pulling my hair. I don't know why. He's probably like, what is this? He's not used to seeing me with my hair out. So, this is my cut. It's still really defined. So, of course, like in a few days, it will break up get bigger but for the most part this uh this visit was what i needed like i felt like i needed to cut a substantial amount of my hair but a lot of the people i was going to kind of was just like no no it's fine but it was like i kept ending up at the same point like where is all my hair hair <clears throat> which is not it was just unmanageable and also me putting my hair in a slick bun a lot of times it was convenient for me because I was just so busy I would be so tired so to by the time it got to nighttime or time for me to do my hair I would just be like I'll I'll hold off <sighs> I will hold off and I would be like I'll you know like I'll go back to it and I'm paying for it you know so that's why I just can't stress it enough. Like, just continue to pour yourself because my hair is like everything to me. And I was like tearing up, like when we were having a conversation. It was, but, but because I knew, and it was like I trusted people to do and treat my hair as they would do them their own and tell me the truth and tell me what I need to do to fix this problem. And that's what I got today. Um, I didn't really document a, lo a lot because it was a very, very emotional experience. Um, but she did give me a lot, a lot of good tips. Um, her hair is amazing. And also too, like when someone is doing your hair and you entrust to them, you kind of do want to look at them or look at, you, you know, if their hair is in good condition, of course, they would tell you great tools and give you, you know, jewels to, to get your hair back to that point or make it better. So... There is some items that I'm gonna go grab that she did suggest. I'm also um, gonna get rid of a lot of things that I just don't use because I just have so many products. It's it's ridiculous. Like it's no no need. <laughs> so like one of my major issues is I had so much moisture in my hair and it was too soft. Like so a lot of times it would not hold the definition that I wanted to or that I was used to it holding so it, but I was pretty pretty heartbroken if, if I should say about my hair that's why I just didn't put a lot into it and it was like I shouldn't have I shouldn't have given up on it of course because you are only gonna get what you put into something and I wasn't putting much into it so of course what, what results would I get but what I received so you know it's a it's a learning process and just speaking about it and you know just saying something if i could prevent this happening to somebody else like then my work here is done Be place called matcha ring that opened near my house so they didn't have the korean dogs <laughs> 